Hey everyone, uh, this is just a really quick uh, primer and instructional video on uh, the uh, plasma pen that's uh, available on the uh, face med store. Now, this video is just to kind of give you the specifics of the device. Remember, you need proper training with this device as you can really cause uh, a lot of injury um, with this device. And I'm gonna go over just some of the specifics of it, um, charging aspect of it and whatnot. So when you first get the device, you will have to charge it overnight. You can't simply just plug it into the wall and try to use it because this is a plasma arc generator. It really has to be charged um, overnight. And on one charge, I mean, you should be able to do anywhere from, you know, two to four cases. Uh, I mean, it's got a pretty significant uh, battery life on just one charge. There are a couple of things you can use it for. Uh, most often people you see are using it for non-surgical blepharoplasties and maybe some tightening and fine lines. Just realize one thing, this is a very powerful device and especially if you're using it on the face, you do need proper training as you can cause scarring uh, and uh, permanent discoloration and uh, you know other complications. So make sure you get proper training on how to use it. This is just showing you how to operate the device. Now, this is the device itself and this is the power button right on here. When you press it, uh, you turn it on. When you press it, you turn it off. So you'll know it's on because when you press this trigger, this light will go on, that's when it's on. If it's off, nothing will happen. Then you have two switches on the device itself. So the device uh, with the switch above the power button, as the switch is facing to the left, uh, that's a low energy setting, that's about uh, 0.7 watts. If you switch it to the right, that's a high energy setting one watt. I would really be very careful about using this setting on the face itself. So for most face applications, I keep it on the left. If I'm really going after cherry angiomas or some skin tags on the body, uh, I would use it to the right. Um, you know, and again, just be very careful about using this device on ethnic skin as it could lead to hyperpigmentation. So we've seen how to turn it on, the two switches, to the left is low, to the right is high. Next, what I do is, uh, it comes with a, a small copper tip as well, but I pretty much just use the disposable needles and there's a, a tiny needle you can see and it clips into that tiny uh, hole in the center and you just have to push it and twist it on, like so. And then you have uh, the tip ready to go. So you see the light is on, so we know it's functioning. And just real quick, uh, if you are using it on very delicate areas, you know, you have to bring the, you don't need to touch the skin necessarily, but you do have to bring it close. So you press the trigger and literally no more than one to two seconds per pulse. You want to make sure there's at least a couple millimeters distance between them. The more you hold the button down, or the longer you hold the button down, uh, the more energy it's gonna deliver. And if you keep holding it down, it's a continuous pulse. So really, if you're doing anything on the face, it's literally one or two seconds, and that's it. Make sure the spacing is far apart enough that you're not causing too much consecutive uh, areas of trauma. And this is basically uh, the plasma gun operation in a nutshell. These are meant to be thrown away. As you're using it, sometimes you'll see a black carbonaceous deposit form on the uh, tip of the needle. You can just take an alcohol pad and wipe it off. Uh, finally, this is, video is not meant as a substitute for proper training, uh, taking a proper course. So please do your due diligence before using this device. Uh, I hope this uh, informational video helps. If you have any questions on the operation of the device, feel free to email at info at facemedstore.com. Thank you.